like we are getting a new RV. Yes, we're getting a new RV. Oh no, it was just a dream. Alright, let's get up. It's true! We get a new RV! Saying bye to the old RV and hello to the new one. Hola, YouTube. My name is Marcelo, and you're watching for Seasons Adventures. And I'll give you the tour of our new Sundance 268 RL. We are leaving. It has a nice black finish on the front, two very nice lights, electric jack two propane tanks and the battery. On the service side, pass through storage, connection for solar panels, a bedroom window, and the slide out. And of course, all the connections. As you see, the floor is wet and there is a bunch of leaves on the ground. That's due to the tropical storm Elsa. We are receiving a lot of outer bands and I'm gonna show you the side, the back, and I'm going right in before I get wet. On the camping side, pass to the storage. Automatic lights and a lot of space in there. The trailer has two doors. This one is the bedroom door and that's the main door furnace for winter time, a nice kitchen window, two axles, and a nice window on the back. The trailer is equipped with electric stabilizers, which is much better of those old ones that you had to crank up manually. It has very sturdy steps, and we're going to ride into the coach. Immediately when I walk in, I can tell the difference with the other trailer because I'm not hitting any furniture. All right, let's close the door because this is South Florida. There is a lot of mosquitoes around here. And this is the part that I like the most about this trailer, the real living. It has plenty of room and a bunch of windows. This is a nice couch, and it turns into a bed if you need an extra sleeping area. And this is my desk, where all the YouTube magic happened. I really love this couch. We have the option to upgrade to those uh, reclining chairs, but I think this is okay, at least for now. You can be sitting here working on the computer, watching TV, we're just relaxing and looking through the windows. Talking about the TV, it's in a swivel, so you can adjust it, depends where you are. This is a control panel, you manage the entire coach from here. DVD player and radio, that it goes all through the speakers in the roof. And right in front of the TV, you have the U-shaped dinette. It is very functional because it has a storage all underneath and it has two nice windows. You can probably fit six people here, but I think it's more for four. All right, let's go to the kitchen. What I really like about this trailer is although it is a small one, it still has an oven. It is a three burner stove with a glass cover. And what I love about this one is, when you turn it on, 
immediately goes red, letting you know that the gas is coming out. How cool is that? It has exhaust, curium, very loud, but very powerful. A microwave on the top. The counter is not that big, but it's enough for us. The sink is very nice. And it has a backsplash and a window to the side. The fridge. This is a 10 cubic feet, 12 volt refrigerator. It has plenty of room in there and a super nice freezer. I love it. All right. Before we go to the bathroom, I'm gonna show you the storage. It has plenty. It has all the storage on top of the big window. It has a storage on top of the TV and under. And of course, a big pantry. On top of the counter and the drawers and under the sink. Yes, it has a lot of storage for a trailer of this size. All right. As soon as you walk in, you have a storage here, underneath, underneath the sink, and a medicine cabinet. The sink is a little small. I think they should have put something bigger. Flipping around, we have the shower. The curtain is a little different. It's a weird plastic, but it works well. And yes, it has a toilet and a fan on top to suck it out all the bad odors. This door here closes, of course, for privacy, but also it has another door, sliding door. And last but not least, ta -da! the bedroom. It has a residential queen size bed three cabinets on top and two on the side. It has a window here, a TV, and right next to the door, it has cabinets and drawers. This is a small room. One thing that is missing for sure is another window right here on the door, but I think we're gonna take care of that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is it has two ACs, one here on the room and another one in the living room. And one thing I love is you can play with this. For example, if you're in the room and you don't want to hear the noise of the AC, you can turn it off and turn this one on. It will send all the air through the ducts. I love it. Very quiet for a nice sleep. And that's the end of the tour. It's a small trailer. But if you have any ideas or modifications, please let me know in the comments below. And with this, we're going to call it a wrap. I hope you like it and you give it a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you soon.